today from Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. This is the NFL on EA Sports. and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. Well, it wouldn't be Florida without this. A heavy tropical rainstorm coming down just prior to kickoff here in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium. With the echoes, a cannon blast still ringing in our ears from the north end zone. The Bucs were introduced a moment ago, and they are all set as their guys will do battle with the Buffalo Bills. Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, on to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. And the opening kickoff will not be returned, as that will be a touchback. So we see the Bills' offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. It's got to feel great for the Bills franchise to know that they're set up for the future with number 17 at the helm. They don't have to worry about draft choices. They don't have to worry about free agency. They have their quarterback. And the passing attack as a team, second only to the Chiefs in 2020. And how about Josh Allen? Guided the Bills to their first playoff win since 1995 last season. And his completion percentage in the last three years has gone from roughly 53% to 69% last season. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. To the air, Allen. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and 10. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. He'll dump this down to Matt Burrito. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. On fourth down, on is the former Dolphin, Matt Hawk, to punt for Buffalo. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. So we get a peek at Tom Brady as he brings out this Tampa Bay offense. And Tom Brady in his 22nd season overall and his second in Tampa Bay. After two decades in New England, a change of scenery, and another tremendous season culminating with a Super Bowl title. 40 touchdown pass in the regular season, and most since his record-shattering 50 touchdown season of 2007 in New England. He did have minor knee surgery in the offseason, but he said he's sticking with his plan to play beyond the age of 45, which is still two years from now. Look out, NFL. Tom Brady still wants to win. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Brady going to throw. That's complete to Tyler Johnson. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Brady's throw there complete. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Chris Godwin, 56 yards. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. <laughs> yeah, they don't like that at all, right? <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football, all right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us the rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. From the 27, Allen. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. So that time, they get the tight end on the hold. Normally, he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time, he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. Looking sideline, incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. Hey, right back. It's all It's a pick six. He brings it back to the house for Buccaneer TD. This defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Pass. Pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. And that is off the left upright. It's no good. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. McKenzie will not return this, and it'll be brought out to the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle. You know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. Let's see if they can get the ball moving again. Yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Here's Zach Moss, who played high school football downstate near Miami. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. Now Allen. They'll roll him in. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Shaquille Barrett. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. On is the punter, Hawk, as he gets this one away. It's taken to the 26. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we? And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. 
Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. This is fielded at the 27. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Meanwhile, Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Thirteen nothing is the score after one on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen, Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. That catch good for five. It's third down. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now a run with Singletary. Levante David in on the tackle. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Working out of the shotgun, here's Allen. And that is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. That would have been from way downtown. Pretty big roll of the dice. And he comes up a bit short. Yeah, you knew when you saw the holder setting up on the other side of the 50 <laughs> that this was going to be a long shot. But to me, there's really no loss here because you've shown confidence in him. Kicking it from a long distance, that'll pay dividends. And the miss, you can shake that one off. You wasn't likely to make it in the first place. On second down, here's Fournette. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. On first down, Brady. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off around the 27. And he'll bring it all the way back, just a yard or two shy of midfield. Thought he had the pick. Flag comes in for P.I., so cancel it out. Interference. Oh, the killer for them. Thought they had a nice play. Instead, they'll be marching off yardage against them. Brady now on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Here's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. 
They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. That's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. Josh Allen leads the offense out for their next possession. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that. There he goes, left side. He's at the 30. And he gets this down deep into Tampa Bay territory. 91 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Throwing again on second down. Allen, and it's caught. Touchdown, Bills. Matt Breida, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills cut into that lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that trims the lead down to nine. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Mike Evans in the Tampa offense about to set up shop. Second quarter here. He has only one catch, but they have the lead. you got to think, though, he's going to be more involved at some point. That's what you would expect, but sometimes what defenses do to take away a player of his magnitude, it costs them in other areas. And right now, with them losing, they may have to change their focus, and maybe he will open up a little bit more as the game goes on. Well, so far, just the single catch. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. That is caught. It's Chris Godwin. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. <laughs> On play action, it's Brady. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. On second and ten. Brady getting it out wide here to Bernard. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout.
So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar. So we've hit halftime here in Tampa with a box out in front. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point. And you gotta expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half from the 10. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. They were trying to create some space to run. They created the penalty. And you work on it so much. You work on it so hard. But it's tough to simulate game speed in practice. And that often runs you into a penalty. That throw by Brady incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you. You can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we get back. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Allen now looks to throw. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to lead to a third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They run here with Singletary. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Here's Allen to throw it. Steps away. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is down to two. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Josh Allen using his legs to polish things off. This is taken just shy of the 10. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Fournette, a first down carry. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Now Bernard. 
And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. Brady now on first down. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. Meanwhile, Brady's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. Three yards the game there, second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Gronkowski again, he was the intended target. Third down here. Now Brady. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Suckup's kick is good. And it will push the lead up to five. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also in letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, it's... And now look at this! Big game, but a fumble! And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. 102 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Throwing now is Allen. Dancing to his left. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. On play action, Allen. Sliding out of the pocket. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we've played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And that will be incomplete. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. They'll run here with Singletary. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? 
tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. touchdown run and the Bills have taken the lead Allen will try to throw for it and no incomplete they can't convert so they tried to bump the lead up to a field goal instead it stays at one here in the fourth I think we can figure out why they went for two there right up one you want to make it a field goal difference if at all possible. They didn't get it. Now they've got to put some defense down the side. Yeah, not much margin for error now for your D. They just have to get it into range. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one be a gain of five and it'll bring up a second down shotgun now for Brady and a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete and that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball not the man winning coverage that'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties and he's able to knock that one away Play action. Now it's Brady. Open man is Godwin. It's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner. And we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. He'll let this go for the end zone. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. Mike Evans, 41 yards. And the Bucks are going to retake the lead. A plenty of scoring here of late, and our lead changes hands now in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they just gave up a touchdown the other end, so they knew that with time getting short, they had to put something together here, and they were able to do so and retake the lead right back. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Brady will look to throw for it. And it is incomplete, so they can't convert for two. And now the lead stays at five. Tough there, good pass, hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. And able to get this out to the 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs, right side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Here's Allen. Down he goes, a bucket air sack. Shaquille Barrett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Allen going to throw. 
He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Buffalo. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. On play action, now Brady. And this one caught by Cameron Brain. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. What may seem a little unorthodox to some people, got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Tackle made there by Matt Milano. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line, and I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Fournette once more on second down, and he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. A handoff to Fournette. And a short gain here down to the 22. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Here's a give to Fournette. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did, but they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. For Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. And with that, I'm off to the airport. Charles will be on I-4 back to Windermere as we say so long from Tampa. Have a nice trip. I'll be home before you even take off. Lucky. <laughs>